In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to quickly trim a video clip when it's on the timeline. We'd like to show you several different trim methods, each in its own tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to take the video clips I have in my media room. I'll take each one and drag and drop it onto video track number one. And you notice they will snap right next to one another. I also have another object on track 2. I'll show you the significance of that in a moment. So let's assume we want to change the length of the first clip because it's way too long. I'm going to make sure I have my movie button clicked and then we're going to go on and click on the stop and it will take me back to the very first frame of my video project. So if I begin to play this, I can either press the space bar or click on the right triangle. And either way, I'll begin to see the, the clip. It's very long, very slow, and slightly boring. Let's assume I just want a few seconds of it rather than the whole thing. How can I trim it on the timeline? I'll click my stop again and show you how you can do that. On the timeline, you simply take the mouse and you hover over the little white area that's with your time indicator. It's actually a triangle. And you want to drag on the white, not on either of the gold areas. And you can drag and move it wherever you want. The other way you can adjust it is by using some of the adjustment tools here below the preview screen. Now wherever this is in your project, you will see the time code to the right here, to the left of the word fit. Now I can move it, and as I move it, you'll see the time code changes. The other ways to move it more precisely are to use these two arrows. This arrow will move it a frame at a time. And if your project is 30 frames per second, it'll be 1 30th of a second. If it's 24 frames a second, it will be 1 24th. All you need to do is click on it once and watch the time code move. I'm moving it only one frame at a time, so you can be as precise as you want. There's a shortcut key for that. If you want to move it to the right, you can use the period key on your keyboard, as I'm doing now. Or if you want to move it to the left, you can use the key next to that, the comma key, that will move it one frame to the left. So that's how you can get very precise into where you position this. So when you have this position to the place where you want to trim it or cut it, the easiest way I've found is hold the control key down and hit the T key. That is your cut control. Is it will cut the video there. So now I have the same video and there's actually has two segments. I actually can play it if I want to and it will go over the cut as though it doesn't exist. But what I want to do in this case, we'll stop this, I want to take this part out right click and then you can choose the cut option from the menu or you can do control X but notice there are three sub options cut and leave gap cut and fill gap or cut fill gap and move all clips let's see what each of them does oh, now I'm going to go to cut and I'll do cut and leave gap what that does is it creates an empty space. It did not move any of the elements on this track or this element on the track below. As an early editor, you need to remember the undo key is control Z. That's almost universal in Windows. That will get us back to where we were before. The other way I can cut is to click on the cut and then do fill gap. Let's see what happens there. That moved everything over, but notice only everything on this track. It did not touch this item here. So if I wanted this aligned up with what was over here, it's now misaligned. I'll do Control Z again to undo that. The third option with cut, if I right click, is cut, fill gap, and move all clips. So if I want the clip on track number two to be lined up with the clip on track one, I'll choose this option. And notice everything on this track moved accordingly, and it just took this section out. I'll do Control-Z again to undo that. 
So those are your three options for cut. You can do a cut and leave it. You can do a cut and everything will move. That's often called a ripple delete. Or everything in all tracks will also move. Let me give you something else to consider. I'm going to right click on it again. And I will do cut and I will simply say leave the gap or I can press the shift X key. The interesting thing about editing in PowerDirector is when you cut this, you actually don't remove what's behind it. In effect, you tuck it underneath. So I can go back and decide, you know, I wanted it to be a little bit longer. So all I need to do is take my mouse, click on the video clip with the left button. It will highlight it. And notice what happens when I put my cursor at the very end of it. As I take it there, I'll hold it down and I'll stretch it. And it actually is unrolling the part of the clip that was underneath. I can actually do it to, to have the entire clip back the way it was, or simply part of it. So that's one of the things that I can do. And obviously, anything you can do on the end of a clip, you can do also on the beginning of a clip. I'm going to move my time indicator here. Do Control T to cut it again. And this time we'll take the beginning part out. And I'll do cut and leave gap again. And notice if I click on the clip again, I, I get the double headed arrows and I can stretch it and recover a little bit of it at the beginning, just as I did at the end. So this is non destructive in its cut. So you can cut and then change your mind and do it over again without having to take the clip and bring it back into the timeline from the media room again. So that's a real nice simple way to understand how that works. That's an easy way to trim the video right in the timeline in CyberLink PowerDirector. There are other trim methods that we'll look at in separate tutorials.